Hi guys, uh, welcome to Mosdale. Uh, the day we're off along the, the old railway line, so we are. Uh, got a tick in the Loch Skirrow at the very end, uh, and we'll pass past Loch Strone on the way, the way by. Uh, we've came for that direction there, that's the way we've came, and the way we're going is that way there. So, if you stick with us, uh, I'll show you some more of the route than that, but the weather's got to be good, so we maybe need the sun cream today. Okay, catch you after. How's this for a view, folks? Look at this. Loch Strone. A few folk out camping today. I didn't blame them. The weather's really, really good. What a day for it. Obviously, that's the way we are going. The ticket over on the other side of the bridge. That's the run off from the wall. Just something about this bit, folks. Uh, just not a soul in sight. So peaceful. Really, really nice place where you can catch your thoughts. You can even hear the birds. What you're looking at there is just the tail end of log strewn. I've come right past it along the, the old railway line. Find the camera round. We've got the sign for Slogari Bridge, which is, is up there. And then obviously we're going to be heading that way. Never seen anything like this before, folks. Some days, years ago, it's built this dry stain wall and they've, there's obviously been a rock, on, a great big massive rock underneath it and they followed the contour with a rock in the hill and brought it over the top of the, the, the rock and brought it back down. There's a the rock there, look at that. Thing of beauty, eh? I know it's just a wall, but somebody's put a lot of effort into that to get that like that. Last time I was up here, folks, all this was trees, as far as I could see. Obviously, it's come time again for harvest now. Good thing about Scotland though, in the forest programme, they do plant fresh trees, which will be the next crop for future generations. What do you think of these two beauties? Lovely big machines. 
they'd be great for doing the weeding in the garden. Maybe a bit of overkill. It certainly wouldn't take you long. It's like something off a PlayStation or an Xbox. You certainly have a lot of fun with any of these. What you're seeing here, folks, is uh, one of the original platforms off the train station. Still intact. A wee bit worse for wear, but it's been a few years since it's been up. Also, I don't know if you can see in the background, the, the old rotten railway sleepers. I'm presuming that must have been like a boundary fence at some time, it runs down the full, full length. Just pan the camera around. Start a lock skirrow. But I'll show you a wee bit more of that in a minute. This is what's left of the the platform for the, I would presume, the train going in the opposite direction. It's amazing that it's still here after that, that many years. Nice wee bit of history.
So what do you think of this folks? Loch Skiro on a lovely blue calm day. <clears throat> so peaceful. Away for everybody. Just as far as I'm concerned. Doesn't it go any better than this? Maybe it does. But this is my idea of perfect relaxation. Sitting looking over the water, having some lunch. The walk to it, it's the old uh, railway track for years ago. Railway tracks aren't there obviously anymore. The road itself is a wee bit rough at the moment because uh, the forestry is in doing the uh, tree cutting and that. But the part that they have to run on is quite it's quite level and flat. <clears throat> I would say this is as as level walks go that you don't have to climb much. I would probably say this is a good one. So it is. It's no bad at all. You've not got a lot of climbing, so on a really, really hot day, it's a uh, it's a good it's a good it's a good one. And there's plenty of views when you're making your way here. Good place to park the car as well at Mosdale. Safe enough there. I've parked here before, never had a problem. And I've just spotted a, a wee camping site in my way in. So that might be the next thing. Only thing is I don't know what the midges will be like up here. Perfect way to spend a Sunday. Well folks, this is as far as I go in this one, uh, obviously this has been an embankment for a bridge going over or something at one point, uh, again, look at the, the dry stained dikes going up over the top of the, 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 the rocks there, that must have taken a bit of day in years ago, uh, not to mention blasting through the, lock to, the rock to send the train through. Uh, if you carry on along this road and track, uh, this will bring you on to the uh, Cairns Moor Fleet Viaduct. 
uh, which would end up over at Stranraer Way. Uh, unfortunately I've just not got enough time today to do it and obviously the car's in the opposite direction. So we'll just turn round and walk our way back slowly. But again, what a terrific day, terrific route. Just kind of get over them, them walls. It must have, it must have taken them ages to do them. There's somebody else got the right idea about enjoying the weather. No doing very well. Though. They seem to be doing well over there though. Total loss, it's upside down. Well guys, that's another walk done, I uh, hope you've enjoyed it, the weather's certainly been spectacular for this one again, uh, till the next time, bye the now. <laughs>